Hey everybody, Crobat here on a Pokemon X and Y walkthrough video. Ah, <sighs> so we have just beat the gym, so I'm going... Oh yeah, I forgot about the roller skates. I haven't played for like two days, so... I don't see why I haven't played yesterday. I don't know, but... Okay, so we're gonna come to Tyrno. Oh, dance moves. Oh, yeah, Crobat. There's a Pokemon in the back. Yeah, I knew that. Oh, I'm just gonna heal up real quick. And we are gonna move on to the next route. Well, I believe so. Um, yeah, so. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to feel health. And now you can exit the he um shop. So uh today we are gonna come up nope. Okay, so this is Alexa the Viola's bigger sister, older sister, um, she's a journalist, and, yeah, she's gonna celebrate, oh, yes, heck yes, can't believe we get the experience share so early, we're gonna go put it on a Pokemon, so, alright, I'm gonna actually put a. And I don't. I'm not gonna put it on Torchic. I'm gonna keep that Blaze Knight on it. Actually, we don't need it right now. Um, what I'm gonna do real quick is switch my Pokemon. Switch Mr. Frog with Torchic, and we will be on our way. So. I'm just gonna check down here for a second because I thought I saw something. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, it looks like I saw nothing when I. Yeah, I thought there was like an actual path here, so. Uh, let's go. Up these stairs, I guess. Uh, oh, it's just a little restaurant. Okay. So now let's go up here. Route 4. Um, right here's your repel. A little animation where you put the thing. Do you get wild Pokemon in the flowers? Okay, I was just checking, so. I'm just seeing where items are. Oh, I can't go that way. Why'd they leave it open then? That doesn't make sense. Alright, so we're gonna come all the way back down. Ooh, little maze. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so it's really that hard to go through. And yes, down here we have a super potion. Just the screen. Okay. Okay, so let's come down this route and there are some more items that we can get, I think. Come through there. And right there is a great ball. So let's come back down here, and there's another item, and a trainer, so, yeah. First, let's get the item. It is an antidote. Um, that is, antidotes are used to heal um, poison on your Pokemon, and we're just going to battle this guy real quick.
Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so I guess you can encounter wild Pokemon in the flowers. Um, I'm just gonna heal up Froki. That's actually more useful having the Pokemon off to the side of the items. You'll see what I'm talking about if you get the game. Which you probably do have it if you're watching this. Oh, we have a roller skater up here. Oh, he just saw me. I vow just like I skate, non-stop victory is the only way for me. No, you lost. Okay, so we're gonna go battle this next roller skater that's coming up. Hello. I love Pokemon battles, but they they'd be even better if I didn't have to stop skating. Okay, this is starting to really annoy me. Like. It keeps telling me about how you can rush your Pokemon with the experience share. I'm like, yeah, I know. Don't need to keep reminding me every two seconds. So, we've got a trainer here. I love my Pokemon. I love my Pokemon. Chick is evolving. Oh yeah, combustion. One Pokemon closer to Blaziken. Oh yeah. Yeah, I forgot that Torchic's evolved at level 16 to Combustion. Oh yeah. Okay, so. That ourselves a combustion. Froakie's gonna evolve soon too, so that's gonna be awesome. Double kick, cause it's now a fighting type as well. So yeah, your torchic's gonna become a fighting type if you never knew that. Let's get rid of focus energy. It's just a worthless move to me. Ta-da! Forgot how to use focus energy and learn double kick. So yeah. I have Froakie on front. I don't know how Torchic gained XP when I didn't even throw it out. Or out into battle. Yeah, so that doesn't really make sense to me. Um, if the music kind of, like, ch randomly changed in during the battles because I had to cut it a little bit because I got interrupted. But that doesn't matter to me. I ran into a useless Cumbi. And it's useless because it's male and males don't evolve. I, I, I think it, it, like, it's kind of stupid, but... <sighs> yes, I do love Pokemon. What happened to that kid being dressed as a Pichu? Now he's dressed as a Pancham. Whatever. Um, right here we have a little preschooler. I'm guessing this is a preschooler. Sorry, the recording got interrupted because... Um, um, my iPod was full, like, my storage is full, so I had to delete my other X and Y videos that are already on the computer. 
Um, to me, um, for me, this video is, um, like, 17 minutes long. But, yeah, so... Um, if you don't know, I'm gonna make these videos longer because I figured out how to cheat my editing system. I made it so, or, I figured out how to make it so, like, it would always say, Oh, YouTube doesn't let you do videos more than 15 minutes, and I already have, I can, I can do videos more than 15 minutes, but it just won't let, my editor won't let me. I cheated, I, like, cheated it, and I figured out how to get, like, around that, so... Yeah, I'll be doing longer videos now. So we got a little, we, a little, we got a gardener here. With probably grass Pokemon. Alright, so over here we have a netball. This the netballs are used to catch water Pokemon and are making water Pokemon and bug Pokemon more easy to catch. Cause you know, bugs get caught in butterfly nets and water or like fish get caught in um like water nets that they throw out in the boats. This is probably the pre like pre boy preschooler who got an afro, so we'll just see. Well, I was right about the afro part. Um, and this kid is like, I got a new Pokemon! Magikarp! Nice! Um, Magikarp only learns Splash, and it learns Tackle, like, level 15 or something. I don't know. I've never really trained Magikarp, but... Um, yeah, so... Um, it, it really, it's not as useless as you think it is. It can evolve into this, like... Uh, epic like water snake dragon thing it's called Gyarados and I think it's just awesome and yeah so we're gonna battle with Gardner here and to me the Gardners always seem like grumpy you grumpy little Gardner Two evolutions in one video. We're on a roll here. So, Froakie's gonna evolve into Frogadier? I think it's his name. I've gotta. Come on, guys. I still gotta memorize these new Pokemon names. So, don't get mad at me if I get it wrong. Let's see what his name is. Frogadier! Wow, I was right. <laughs> Mr. Frog evolved into Frogadier. That is awesome, so... Yeah, I'm hoping to get some of my other Pokemon soon. Well, not like right now, because we're still at the beginning of the game. Uh, whenever I get um, find a cave, I'm going to go in there and try to get a Zubat. And I already saw this over here. We have a double battle, so... Oh my gosh, so... Yeah, double battle. Oh wait, this isn't a double battle, is it? Full of baby. Yes, I have. Yes, I haven't seen one, but I've heard of it. Yes, I knew about the fairy type. Yeah, I know all about the fairy types. So I guess we're going to follow them. But that's going to be the end of this video here, you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. This has been Crobat. Stay cool. And I'll see you guys 
next time. Goodbye.